Uh, Jason Coker, President of Wisconsin Evolution, here with Brandon, uh, our Vice President. Uh, sitting here to kind of talk with you today um, in regards to something new and exciting that we're looking to uh, kind of announce. Um, so from an education standpoint uh, for our players, we're looking to incorporate uh, an opportunity for them to understand, along with the parents, for them to understand what this process is like. Um, you know, Brandon, why don't you kind of touch on you know, a little bit of your experiences and why this is actually important in regards to providing a program within Wisconsin Evolution for our players and parents so their kids are, are, are prepared as they can be as they get closer to college. Uh, I think it's extremely important to have a program like this. Um, you're coming from a small market, Kenosha, a town of 100,000. Mm -hmm. So there's not a lot of college coaches pouring in. Yes, correct. Um, but one thing that we can provide for you is playing in tournaments that are NCAA sanctioned. Yes. Uh, which means college coaches are there at the tournaments. College coaches are sitting around the courts. Mm -hmm. um, and our kids in Kenosha have so much talent yes. that doesn't always get the exposure that we need for those kids to go out and play at the college level. Correct. Uh, and that's hurt a lot of basketball players. There's so many basketball players right now walking the streets 25, 30, 40, 50 years old mm -hmm. who never got the chance to play college basketball. Why? Because they didn't have the exposure that we're providing through Wisconsin Evolution. Yep. So now what Brandon's talking about, what we're doing is we're taking the kids and bringing them to the exposure yep. instead of trying to attract uh, the coaches uh, to get the exposure to come to us because it's almost like reinventing the wheel, right? Yeah. Really now, is. on the flip side of things, for parents and players, what we're looking to do when we're formulating and putting together is uh, making kids and parents understand what they have to have in order to qualify from a from an ACT and SAT standpoint, yep. understanding scholarships, yep. deadlines attached to these scholarships, uh, understanding what this whole process is like, visiting campuses, when you're going to do it, When's the best time? If you get past, you, there's a deadline for it. Yep. You don't want to let the deadline pass, and then you blindly. Because some, how many people do you know that actually went to a college that just went there and they never even visited it? Uh, there's so many, so many kids. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> so you yeah, know, there, there's so many kids and uh, parents that they're just not educated on it because AAU programs don't necessarily um, put that focus yeah. on that part of. Uh, what it takes to, like you said, play at the next level to yep. get a scholarship. You have to meet certain, uh, they have certain requirements that you have to meet in order to even be a qualifier. Yeah. Uh, and that starts freshman year. Mm -hmm. A lot of kids think it starts your junior or your senior year because that's when colleges are calling or actually being able to offer your scholarship. Yep. No, it starts when you start in high school. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm glad to be a part of Wisconsin Evolution and to get that information out to the parents and to the kids so now they can be in front of the eight ball versus yeah, being behind, behind it. it. And you know, we also, what we do too is we also, if you can look on some of our, our, our players, if the parents will record their kids playing, we will slice that uh, recording up and make uh, uh, highlight reels. And, and in fact, a couple of them, you know, they have multiple highlight reels. The reason why I bring that up is typically in the recruiting process, these coaches will go to these games. Well, what if they're at home? What if they're on a plane getting ready to go somewhere else? We can, over time, hopefully get these coaches to understand all they can do is pop it up on their phone and they can see this immediately. Right, right. Yeah. So now we've helped to streamline that process and again, bring the exposure, or bring the kids to the exposure, the exposure. Uh, versus the traditional way, so. And a, lot, and a lot of people don't know this, but, uh, not every coach gets to see what you have mm -hmm. to offer to the game of basketball in that game that they're watching. Yeah, what if it was an off game? It could what have if they playing game. well? Or they could have been going to see someone else. Mm -hmm. could have been going to or see as well, they, they, even if they weren't impressed, the other part is too is, is that we are urging our parents to continue to record their kids' games when they're playing for their school or they're playing for another team, even if it's a competitor. Because it's not about that, it's about preparing our players and if we can create that library, the coach is going to have an opportunity to sift through all of that. Is it against good competition? Is it against bad competition? Um, if it is against bad competition, they can go to the next highlight. 
So we're really trying to create that platform. And talking with coaches and scouts all the time, mm -hmm. they always ask, uh, do you have film on this kid? Absolutely. Yeah, I can't travel up to Kenosha, but do you have film on this kid? Yep. Can you send me some film? Send me some links. They want to see the kids play. So you, parents, you have to videotape those kids. And I'm glad that, that we share the same vision and so many of our coaches share that same vision as well. Yep. Saying, hey, parents, you got to record your kids' games. Yeah, yeah. And then at the beginning, not too many were. But then you can see that mad rush towards the end once yep. everybody started seeing what was going on. So I'm sure uh, come next year in the spring, we're going to have a, a pretty big library. Right. So.